What's good, everybody? Here's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. She was way different than I expected when I met her. Um, I mean, I've never really met too many black people. It was uh -huh. more uh, what I've seen on TV. Right. And I know you can't believe everything you see on TV, but it's kind of... But if that's all you know. Right. So I, I was expecting, you know, a little more a ghetto girl, I guess. And, uh -huh. and I didn't know how to explain it, but when we started talking, I was like, whoa. You know, she used words I had to stop her for a minute. It's like, well, what does that mean? Guys, the first 30 seconds of the clip you've seen today comes from an episode of Divorce Court. Now, it was shared to me from one of the brothers in the Man of on Facebook. And I want to give him a round of applause. Go ahead and play the round of applause, please. And what we're dealing with is a brother, not a brother, but a sister and a guy, white guy by the name of Josh Weldon. And the sister's name is somewhere in the video. I'll leave the link here. But they are in an interracial relationship, okay? And they are not married. Meaning that this lady has two children by this white man and he didn't put a ring on it, okay? And for what it's worth, this is a, uh, you know, African-American sister. She seems to be, you know, very nice, you know, very intelligent. And, you know, and you looked at the, the white guy in the beginning, he talks about how she was using words that he didn't know. He had to look up, okay? Which shows me that she actually leveled down dating this brat, okay? This guy was dumb in comparison to her, unaccomplished in comparison to her. But in my opinion, because she thinks that, you know, he's a white man, she needs to deal with him. Not only are we going to find out that, you know, he's prejudiced, he's also racist, okay, against blacks. Uh, Want to know how we can prove it? Let's go ahead and play that clip. Um, we were watching it. We were watching a show <laughs> or a movie, and we're sitting on the bed just watching a movie. And he says um, there was a situation where two uh, white guys uh, started chasing a black guy, and he says, "Oh, they're about to get that in." Okay, so you you, you heard that where he uses the the N word. Okay, she's acting like she's shot. All right. She can't believe it because, again, since, you know, she's a black woman and, you know, the white guy is dealing with her, she feels like she is exempt. Now, obviously, if you watch the whole video, she knows this is how this guy feels, okay? Um, whenever he introduces her, he has to introduce her as her black, as his black girlfriend. His family don't like her. So she already knows how he feels about black people but it doesn't matter because he's a white guy, right? And I want to play the clip where he proves that, where it proves that, you know, he grew up you know, around people that didn't like black folks, right? Are racist and what he thought about using the N-word. Let's go ahead and play that. Where you come from, do you use that term freely? I mean, it, it was used uh, pretty often because most of my family, I mean, they're kind of not really racist but they're prejudiced of some sort mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know and being growing up like that it, it wasn't uh, any any big thing using the n-word you know now for the rest of the video i want you guys to go and click at the first comment pinned to the top i'll put that there but to sum up what else happens in the episode i'll tell you the guy was mistreating her the entire relationship she had a baby for the guy he was really mean to her, you know, she wouldn't even get, you know, I, I, like I would say this, he would, she would ask him, you know, could you bring me food? Could you do things for me? He wouldn't do it for her. Um, he would send her pictures 
of her kids, you know, when he had the second kid, to other women, cheated on her throughout the whole entire relationship, right? Not only did he do that, he was a, he's a drunkard, goes out, he's abusive to her. She's a nice lady. Now, I'm not going to sit here because I know some of y'all are hardcore. Well, you see what them swirl, that's what they get. I mean, look, you know, women, women go through abusive relationships, you know, from, from all sorts of guys. So I'm not going to, you know, stoop so low. But I think that genuinely she seems like a nice woman. All right. I, I don't, you know, she seems like, you know, she's just, and let's just be honest. Um, you know, she's not like a beauty queen or anything like that. So, of course, you know, <clears throat> she's trying to get in where she can fit in. But here's the situation. What this video shows is that a lot of people and sisters, sometimes even brothers, um, you might overlook the fact that the person doesn't like black people as long as they're not being racist or mean towards you then you probably can accept it then there's not so much of a problem but see the issue comes in is when that anger and vitriol goes towards you the guy even said he saw text messages that he sent his wife or his girlfriend. Meanwhile, he never married her, right? He calls her the black baby mama. Now, now he does talk about being married before. He's married to a white woman before for 15 years, but he won't marry her. Okay. He'll have babies by her, but he ain't going to marry her. All right. And he said he saw the messages that he, um, uh, he sent to her and that, you know what? He felt so bad. He felt so uh, ashamed of himself. He's begging for another chance. And do you know what? At the end of the situation, she gave him another chance. They're still together. At least at the time of this, they're still together. Because why? Here you have a sister dealing with low self-esteem, having kids by the white man. You know, sometimes, you know, having children that are mixed race, is an achievement, you know, but at the, at the, at the expense of what being abused by a man who is not educated by a man who is not bright by a man who's not even intelligent by a man that, you know, you have more going on. It seems than he does. This man is, you know, saying that his friends were, uh, you know, you know, you know, skinheads and his friends were in the clan and, you're walking into homes, you're seeing Confederate flags, but you're accepting the abuse. And now you're upset because it's coming towards you full circle. But then I have to ask how many other sisters are doing this? You know, you saw some sisters dating the Proud Boys. And so this is the thing, you know, I'm not saying that obviously that all interracial relationships are like this. Cause I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, there, there, there are men that are, non-black that are very nice to their women and just like you know anywhere else but for those women that are in these relationships where's the level uppers for this because the situation is you you get what you can negotiate in life all right here's a sister that i think has a very low self-esteem of herself she seems like she's a nice lady i'm not saying that she wouldn't date a black man i think that she probably would have but this is a person that doesn't have, a, 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 has a low self-esteem. You're dealing with any kind of guy. And let's say if you're a woman that's dealing with self-esteem issues and you know, all of a sudden you think because the person is white, you can level up, you know, but there's certain things for anybody in the black community that you need to deal with before you go with anybody else. Okay. You need to deal with that before you go to anybody else. For what I'm seeing, a lot of people have problems with that. You know, you think that going to the white man or going to the whoever man is going to help. I just don't think that's true. And guys, I know you're going to get a kick out of the video. Some of you, you're going to be getting your roast on, uh, you know, uh, there. But, you know, I, I really appreciate you guys for, you know, for coming to the video, checking this out today. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Take out the first comment pinned to the top. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Check out the Patreon, the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. 
I'm out.